Yes, backed by popular demand, we have Aura Watches. Now, today we're going to be taking a look at their brand new line. They just launched it. It is the Chronograph 001 and the 1023 Chronograph. Now, these watches are exceptional. As I mentioned in my past video, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of backpedaling on this. So like I said in the beginning, their mission statement is to create meticulously affordable yet high quality timepieces that can be worn with pride. Now like I said in the beginning, whenever I see that on a company mission statement, I don't have much faith in the brand. However, Aura timepieces always delivers. Now let me tell you something about Aura watches. They really make some incredible watches. Not only are they comfortable, like I mentioned, one of the best and most comfortable butterfly clasps in the game right now, and I, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie, I bought, literally, I bought the Tissot uh, Powermatic, whatever you wanna call it, and that thing was scratching my wrist more than girls scratch my back in the bed. No, I'm, I'm completely just joking. I don't get girls. However, these watches are meticulously made and they are just crafted with so much quality. Again, like I mentioned before, their bolts are lined up perfectly. They're stylish, they're in your face, and they are just quality, quality timepieces. I gotta give credit where credit's due. I expected it to be more of a fashion brand, but man, these watches really do hit it out of the park. Now, we're gonna be looking at three different watches from their new Chronograph line. Now, like I mentioned before, it's kinda like a cross between a Royal Oak and a Tissot at a fraction of the cost. Now, first we're gonna be looking at the two Chronographs, the 001, we're gonna be looking at the Steel Purple, as well as we've also got my personal favorite, the Rose Gold Brown. And now we're gonna start off by talking about the Purple Steel first. Um, this watch I thought was going to be my favorite. Now, I'm a big sucker for vibrant colors, in-your-face styles, and honestly, this watch was great. It's beautiful. It's everyone's favorite on Facebook, um, which I can show you that. Um, but to me, it just didn't hit like this rose gold brown. Now, I don't know why the rose gold brown just really, really caught my attention. It's the alligator leather. It, it's got that really nice leather smell that I, I really go crazy for. It's got that beautiful brown, almost got red accents to it on the subdials. But it's it's just a, a perfect blend between uh, vintage and modern, in my opinion. It kind of looks like a stylish grandfather's watch. And that's just been my style for the past, I don't know, six months now. So this watch ended up taking the cake for me. Um, but however, the purple and the steel um, seem to be everyone else's taste, so you really can't go wrong with either selections on their website. Now, the next watch we definitely have to take a look at was uh, close second for me, but last for everybody else. That is the 1023 Chronograph. Now, this almost has Movado-esque uh, looks to it. It kind of has like, you know, that, that piano black dial with the gold. It, it has that sort of taste to it, that elegance. However, it's not an exact clone. It's not a complete copy. It's kind of its own little lane. That's what I really respect about this watch. Now we're going to get into the specs of the 23 chronograph. Let's get into that and let's deep dive there. The specs of this watch are as follows. Um, the movement is a Japanese Seiko VD54 quartz. Now it's got a water resistance of 5 ATM. The glass is sapphire crystal. It's got a beautiful, beautiful two-tone integrated steel bracelet. The case is 316L surgical grade stainless steel. It's 40 millimeters, meaning it's just right in that sweet spot between not being too small and not too big. However, it is thicker than my brajol when I see uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Um, it is 10.75 millimeters thick. Holy macaroni. Now, the lug width is 26 millimeters and the lug to lug is 49 millimeters. So it is a big boy. However, I really think it doesn't really come off as a giant watch. It's not like you're wearing an, uh, an Invicta. So that means that it kind of could appeal to a wide variety of collectors. Now, I really do like this watch. However, I don't like the fact that it's got it's not really a Mecha Quartz. I feel like the other ones are Mecha Quartz because they got the sweeping second hand. This one does tick. Even its subdial ticks as well. So I, I don't think that's really... Uh, it just doesn't look as nice in my opinion. I, I, I think the sweep of a second hand really, really shows quality in my opinion. And I know I'm a sucker for saying it. I know we've we've been in fights over and over again about uh, Quartz versus Automatic. I, I think Automatic movements are just 
kind of breathe an air of luxury in my opinion, but that's neither here or there because this watch uh, blends charm and traditional chronograph design with contemporary flair, and um, this watch definitely will turn heads. Now, I did originally see this watch so that I could, uh, you know, it, I wanted to know if they did the black face right. Now, uh, maybe I should rephrase that, the black dial right, because sometimes just some watch companies don't do black dials the way they should be. And I have to admit that, and, and what I mean by that is usually there's a lot of glare, there, you, you really can't see what's going on, it's just, it, it's almost too daunting. Now, this watch was done correct. This watch was done exactly the way it should be. It's kind of, like I said, got that Movado piano black dial to it. So. It is absolutely, absolutely done right. It is a gorgeous watch, and it is just something that, like I said, will turn heads and and get a lot of stares in the process. Now, if we're going to move on to their Chronograph 001 collection, this is more on, on brand with that sort of homage of a royal oak. Now, their 001 collection pays homage to the rich heritage of chronograph watches that originated in the 19th century um, as specialized precise timekeeping tools. Now, this has a combination of um, traditional chronograph design with kind of modern sophistication. Um, however, the thing that I like best about their 001 collection is it's a Mecha Quartz. It's actually a Japanese Seiko VK63 movement. Now, the sweeping second hand really gives it that that extra oomph, in my opinion. When people look at your wrist and they see that sweep, I think it it does kind of make them think twice. What is he wearing? Versus you see the tick, you, see, you know, I, I sit there and go, oh, well, he's, he got a fashion watch. So. Uh, I really wish they had that in all of their chronograph um, lines. However, um, it is special that these two, the 001, do have it. Now, we're going to start off with my favorite, the um, the brown. Now, the brown one is just stunning. It's like this chocolate brown with a little bit of nodes of red, like I said, in the uh, subdials. When the light hits it just perfectly, it is gold, so it's like that rose gold. So every little bit of light um, really catches on the design of this case. Um, what I like is it's got this perfect blend of polished and brushed along the um, bezel of this case. That really, really, really looks great, especially when the light hits it a certain way. It's an attention grabber. Another thing I like about the brown one is this crocodile leather band. The crocodile leather band is is awesome. It, it smells amazing. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sucker for uh, the crocodile uh, band. But also, it's super, super comfortable, and it looks like it's it looks like this watch costs thousands and thousands of dollars. That's the thing that I really like about it. If we move on to the purple, the purple does have that stainless steel integrated bracelet, and the specs of this watch also has got that Mecha Quartz, the VK63. It's got a five millimeter, a um, my bad, a five ATM water resistance. It's got the sapphire crystal, the integrated steel bracelet, 316L surgical grade stainless steel. Um, the case diameter is. 40 millimeters. Actually, the case thickness is a little bit thicker on the 001 than it is on the um, the 1023. Um, the thickness is 11 3.35 millimeters. The lug width is 26 millimeters, and the lug to lug is 49 millimeters. Now. I'm so very, very grateful to Aura for sending me these watches. I, I, I really love this chocolate brown watch. I think it is the 001 chocolate brown is up there for one of the best watches I've gotten in a long time from a company to review. Um, I just, like I said, when the light hits it a certain way, you feel like you're wearing a $10,000 watch easily or e even a little bit more. Um, and you'll never guess the price of these watches. You'll never guess. Get, take a shot in the dark. Do you think 500? 700, maybe even a thousand, only 275 bucks. Now, I usually have a qualm with the price on most of the watches I review. I think that watch, especially these micro brands, are asking an arm and a leg and a couple of toes for their watches these days. They just think they can charge you through the friggin' roof. However, what I really respect about Aura watches is they keep them affordable for the everyday man to buy these watches. Now, you don't have to be a watch collector to uh, want to afford a watch that's only 275 bucks. I think you can mentally make that note to be able to buy that watch as opposed to it being $700. At $700, you think twice about buying a watch unless you're a crazy collector like us. 
However, I really think that $275 price range is right on the sweet spot, right on the nose. And I, I, I really, I love the fact that Aura did this. I really, I really do think that they, they did a great job pricing out their watches. If you want to get yourself one of the brand new Aura chronographs, use my discount code. It is SNOB30 to get 30% off. 30% off of $275 is a hell of a lot of a steal. So use SNOB30. It's in the description below. Go ahead and check out Aura.Watch.com. That's also in the description below. And if you want to get your hands on one of these timepieces, feel free to hit me up. Ask questions. Go ahead. Because I'm here to help you guys get yourself an amazing watch. And this watch just crosses all the checks all the boxes for me so check them out enjoy this is aura watches thank you so much for watching my name is bill i'm not a watch snob and neither are you enjoy